It's no surprise that Takeo and Shintaro Okamoto, a father and son team from Alaska, would find ice to be the perfect medium for sculpture. My father, Takeo, encountered ice sculpture during his training as a sushi chef in Japan about 35 years ago. In the 90s, he started to enter competitions. Although entirely self-taught, Takeo received numerous awards from all over the globe before joining forces with his son in New York City. We quickly realized there was very little ice sculpture in New York. They founded Okamoto Studio in 2003. Today, they have a team of 15 people who produce sculptures for film premieres, fashion shows, and other major events. We can do functional pieces that works with culinary needs for seafood displays to cold soup displays to floral vases. When it comes to sculptural design, we've done many replicas. We had a great run with a Japanese restaurant, Megun, where we sculpted an ice Buddha every day as a centerpiece of their dining room. We challenged Okamoto Studio to make a life-size reindeer to complement our company's holiday party and the woodland theme. I put together concept drawings. Once that's done, the sculptors will review it. The reindeer was so large that it required two sculptors, Takeo and Jeremy Mangan. Once they take the design, they do their own research and map out exactly how the ice will be allocated. First, blocks of crystal clear ice are formed in a Kleinbill machine. It's basically freezing from bottom up as the water is being circulated. There are no still air bubbles that result in cloudiness of ice. It takes about three to four days to create. One block is 300 pounds, 40 inch by 20 inch by 10 inch. For large sculptures, several of these blocks must be fused together. The ice is first cut to size and sanded to a level surface. Okay, that should be good. Fusing the block requires heating up the aluminum plate and ironing the ice to create an immaculate surface that creates a perfect bind. Just a dash of cold water will do the job. That'll freeze in there and join it together. Once that ice is put together, production begins right away. To sketch out the design, these sculptors use a special Japanese marker containing ammonia, which penetrates the ice. A chainsaw is then used to do the preliminary shaping of the sculpture. No matter what kind of design it may be, I would say at least half is done by chainsaw. Soon the shape of the reindeer begins to emerge. After the chainsaw is completed, we will go into the sculpture with large chisels to further refine the shaping. Next, a variety of drill bits are used to create a more refined detail. Then hand saws, which give us the finest control. As the head detail is carved with the hand saws, Takeo and Jeremy are careful to leave chunks of ice in place that support the fragile antlers. This is a support, keep it. Okay. And the installation time, I'm gonna cut here. Boom, oh, boom, okay. Boom. Then the sculpture is gently washed. Washing it off just makes the ice clear so I can see exactly what I have. After both pieces have been washed, it's time to fuse the head to the body okay. of the reindeer. This much? A little bit? Yeah. All right. Final adjustments are made and details are added to the head and to the neck. When the finishing touches are complete, the sculpture is washed again before final review. Stand it up. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think it looks good. Then it has to be cut into pieces, which are left to deep freeze overnight. These smaller parts will be easier to pack and transport. The way we prepare a sculpture with insulation blankets and shrink wrap is secure enough that actually we don't need to rely on refrigerated trucks. Okay. Then it's time to bring the sculpture to the event space. The party was just getting started as the sculpture was being set up. It's one thing to create something incredible, but it's another thing to execute installation. All of our sculptures have our custom lighting trays and a small pump system, and the pump draws out the water into a large tub. Takeo removed the antler supports, and the sculpture was ready for everyone to enjoy. We really do believe that ice is an incredibly underappreciated material, and it's a great pleasure to share what is possible with ice. The reindeer provided the perfect centerpiece for the evening. My colleagues enjoyed food, specialty cocktails, and music. A great time was had by all.